Hey everyone, it's 8.41 and it's Thursday the 29th of March and of course it was payday. Uh, so, I've actually had a good day, I've actually got some uh, interesting items that I can uh, can I show you that I bought today. Well actually I can't show you everything. But uh, most of what I've actually bought, I bought from what I earned from selling crap on eBay. I sold a bunch of stuff on there yesterday. Wish I'd sold more, but never mind. But uh, I've got to arrive in the mail. Two of these from the Lego website. I ordered two more. Um, got this one today from the shop. The only reason I ordered two straight from Lego is because the shops didn't have those two. And I want something to build now. These aren't really that expensive, to be honest. They're um, £13 or £12.99. If you go in Sainsbury's, they price them at £13 exactly. I don't know why Sainsbury's add the extra penny on, but never mind. It's only a penny. I'm not going to cry over a penny. Pardon me. So yeah, i got this one. I've got a 1968 Mustang Fastback and a Mercedes. But um, I really do like this Speed Champions theme. And they've been running it for a few years now. So I presume it's a theme that's doing well. We need to see. What it concentrates on is um, race cars, sports cars, and muscle cars. And they are licensed. They are actual licensed cars. This is a Porsche 919 hybrid. Um, of course, they're not going to be spot on to the real car. Because, you know, a lot of Lego is square in shape. So you're not going to get the exact shape. But most of them are actually pretty darn close. And they're pretty good for what it is, you know. I mean, I've got a bunch of them over on that bookcase just over there that I've collected up. I could get the larger sets, but I'm not really interested in them. I'm just interested in the uh, single vehicles. Uh, so I'm going to be buying more of those. Because I really do like them. A lot of them are not the sort of cars I would buy in real life, but I just like collecting these ones. Uh, anyway, I've also bought some um, um, computer parts. I've got the hard drive caddy I need for the Dimension C521. I've also bought the CD tray for the GX60, the Dell um, Optiplex GX60. Um, and from China, I have also bought, only because for for this seller, he's actually got pretty good feedback. Um, but their um, laptop RAM adapters, which allow you to use your laptop RAM, or laptop sized RAM, on an ordinary motherboard, you know, this was it, an SO DIM to DIM or something like that, I can't remember. So I bought some of them just to experiment with, I bought four. Because I thought, I want to upgrade my two um, newer Dells, the dual core Dells. Which is my Dell... Oh, I can never remember the model number of that one. Basically the Dell Dimension C521 and I think the other one is an Optiplex 740. If memory serves correct. They're my two best dual um, Dell machines I have because they're dual cores and DDR2 RAM and whatnot. But yeah, I want to upgrade the RAM on those as well, so... And uh, as I've got a shed load of laptop DDR2 RAM, I figured it's going to be cheaper to buy these DIM slots, these DIM adapters. 
So I thought I'd give them a try. So that's probably going to be... Stupid camera cut off again. Anyway, as I was about to say before the camera did decide to cut off, it'll be at least a week, maybe two weeks. I've bought from China before and I've been here within seven days, so but I suppose it depends on where the seller is in China. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, got some items from my favourite charity shops. I went into a hospice in town and got some audio cassettes. Actually got five, so we've got Alana Miles. Alana? Alana? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> never heard, believe it or not, I've never heard her name spell, um, pronounced. Unless I've forgotten. I might have forgotten. Uh, we have Roxette. These are all 50p each, by the way. That's why I grabbed them. Spectacular Synthesizer. Oops. Uh, a bit of share. And the power station. I don't know. I, st I don't know what it is. I still just love these things. I don't know why. I've got quite a collection going now. Uh, a couple of items. Oh yeah, bought another one of these for 50p from um, the community shop. So now, because um, a couple of mine did actually break, which left me with one, but now I have one, two, three again. These two exactly the same brand. Right, that is starting to get annoying now. It's twice it's just cut off on me. Anyway, camera just shuts off. For use with compatible battery it flashes on the screen and then shuts off. Anyway, as I was saying, these two are exactly the same brand. They were boxed as well and I got them from the community shop. But uh, as someone who's uh, got Asperger syndrome, although America, I, um, blah, 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 blah. I know America now bundles Asperger syndrome with autism all as under the same spectrum. So if you prefer to call it, you know, ASD, autism, or, or autistic spectrum disorder, I believe. Was it autism spectrum disorder? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to hate on you if you call it autism. But anyway, I digressed a little bit there, didn't I? I just, I find it quite relaxing just to sit here and just spin it. <laughs> you know, it keeps my mind focused on something. Anywho, what else have we got? I'm going to have to turn around, I think. Whee! I've bought two light fittings, five pounds each from the break charity shop. Um, I haven't actually seen a tested sticker on them. I don't know if such electrical items like this actually need to be tested. Although, while we're on the subject of um, electrical testing, I always thought it was law that shops selling second-hand electrical goods had to have the items pat tested, but apparently it's not actually a law. It's just common practice to cover their own ass, basically. You know, it's something that's... Huzzah! No, it's not quite huzzah, but it's something that's... Uh, highly recommended, because I suppose... If something like a charity shop... Or a second-hand electrical shop, you know, that maybe specialises in audio equipment, used audio equipment sell something that goes bang or electrocutes the person they sold it to then they could be seen as liable but if it was pat tested and it's got the little pat test sticker on then the customer's got nothing to you know no leg to stand on and the, the shop that sold it is is covered you know and i say well it's not my problem i had it pat tested it passed But, uh, yeah, I always thought it was actually a legal requirement. I always thought by law they had to, but no, they don't. 
Anyway, I bought this as well in the same brake shop. Look at this. Because I love the Ford Mustang. So this is an actual uh, model kit. I thought it was like a clip together kit, but it's not. I've got to glue it. But I don't think I've got any of the adhesive for that. And if I have got some, it's probably like donkey's years old. And uh, there is nowhere in town that actually sells it now, not that I'm aware of. I, I'm just going to have a look at my kitchen drawer. Oh yeah. Got this as well. I actually went in the community shop <coughs> Monday. And this was on the shelf along with this, which was in its box. I am going to keep the box because it was sold locally. I know it was sold locally because that is the um, Roy's Superstore, or whatever they call it, Roy's Department Store, um, which is just a store in this area. It's their special offer sticker. So that's what it cost back in the day. And by back in the day, I'm going back to 1990s, maybe. But uh, it, that's the light that came in the pack, you know, and it looks just like an ordinary one of these, yeah? Now it just looks like the rear version, right? It's got one big difference. It's got this little socket on the back. Because this attaches to your brake lever if you've got cantilever brakes. Which is why I believe this was actually 1990s. There's the cable for it and some clips. It doubles up as a brake light, as it actually says on the packet. I've got it was all sealed. The only thing that was missing was the battery. So someone had opened it just to take the batteries out. Which probably got used donkeys years ago. And this never got fitted to a bike. So this is actually a brand spanking new bike. Bike light from the 1990s. I'm going to guess. And there's the little instruction manual. It's made by Everready. That were very popular back in the day. Um, this was actually a rear one. I put a white lens on this one so I could make a pair. Because... In the bedroom, the light is still on. I've got my green rally up here from the 1990s. This is a 1997 bike, this one. So I figured it's got lights from the 90s on it already. It's got these old Duracells. But I want to fit that brake light. So I'm going to take these ones off. And I'm actually going to fit these to my other rally. I'm going to prob probably do that tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to fit those EverReady lights to this. I'm thinking of changing the LEDs to something a bit more period correct as well. Because I do have some old style LED lights. That's what I was going to do. I don't think I've got anything else. I can't think of anything else that I've bought today. But in this drawer, I used to have... Like I said, I don't know if I've still got it, or oh, I have. Not a lot of it, though. Oh, hello. What's this? Old rubber solution for a puncture repair kit. Ow. Oh, maybe I can order a tube off eBay or something. Somewhere online. Because I've had this a while, but... A proper Revel plastic model cement, as they call it. Well, I don't think it's got a date on it, do they? I don't think glues have dates on them, best before dates. Ooh, copyright 2002. <laughs> That's a bit old. <laughs> well, at least the copyright on it is a bit old. Never mind. Well, yeah, £2.50. And this is brand spanking new as well. Um, I actually broke the original. I thought the shop itself had taped the lid on. But when I got it here and I started cutting the tape, um, I realised it was actually the factory original seals that I was cutting. So, so yeah, that's a brand spank new light. As for these light fittings here, they were actually £5 each, with the bulbs, four LED bulbs in each. I'm guessing they got donated with those, because <laughs> it's going to cost you about a fiver for a pair of them bulbs alone. 
How do you know? It probably cost you around about six pounds for a pair if you buy them individually. I don't know if they sell them in packs yet. But I'm thinking. <laughs> I know I'm changing the light again, but I'm going to put one up there because that looks nice. It is nice. It's just not very bright. And when I'm up here, you know, trying to work on this, I mean, it's perfect just for going to bed and whatnot. But as I, you know, work on the bikes up here and whatnot, and I tinker with things in this bedroom, it's not very bright. And I actually think that spotlight would look better. The other one, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use the other one yet. Or if I'm going to move that one. But either way, either the other set of spotlights or the um, current light in the bedroom is going to go in here to get rid of that friggin' thing. That can actually go down to Mum's new house, actually, and go in one of the workshops. And yes, I've actually asked Mum and Stepdad if we could move the shed so I can actually have something to store stuff in. Uh, and they said yes. So, I'm probably going down the bottom of the garden. Because uh, we've got to keep one of the sheds assembled to store his tools in anyway until we get the main workshop rebuilt. Obviously the house has got to be decorated before any of that is done. Um, which means I've got a heck of a lot of electrical work to do. Again. <laughs> but I've actually told Stepdad we're going to do it properly. And we're going to do a bodge job. Because currently what's been done is a bodge job and I ain't going to do that when he's running power tools and whatnot. Um, what the previous tenant has done is acceptable for what they run. It's basically lights and a freezer. Um, so yeah, it's perfectly acceptable for that. But uh, as my stepdad runs power tools, it's not going to be good for that. You know, it's a fire hazard. So I want 4 mil cable at least to run out to there. I believe that's what we did his current workshop with. Yeah, it was a length of 4mm. Uh, I'm going to want some... Possibly some 2.5. Or I could use some thick flex. Doesn't matter. Uh, and some 1.5 or some thinner flex for the lights. The only reason I use Twin and Earth over here is because it's cheaper than Flex cable. A roll of Flex is actually more expensive than a roll of uh, the traditional grey cable that's used for permanent wiring here. Don't know why. It's all made out of the same shit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because, you know, the grey Twin and Earth is flat, that it's easier to manufacture. Manufacture and cheaper, I don't know. There must be a reason there somewhere. We have actually got some flex there, but I'm not sure how much, how long and how big. Because <laughs> I haven't actually looked in the box. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video. I've got to go and get my little uh, Acer laptop. I haven't fired that up for a couple of weeks, so... We're going to scope chat later, so what I'm going to do, as I've got a couple of videos to edit up, this one included, I'm going to set it up on here, alongside the Acer over there, not the Acer, the HP over there, and uh, use my Acer for Skype. Only because, even though that one's quite a nifty little laptop, it will still lag if I try to edit or render a video and... Uh, you know, a Skype call at the same time. Crap, I still haven't put the electric on the meter. I actually can't wait for some stuff to come in the post now. Oh, I need to get another one of these. I need to get the front version. Because I pinched the white lens off the front one to put on the black bodied one. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing, because I needed the red lens for this one, because I broke it. 
but now I'm a front light short. But I'm watching one on eBay that's 99p start, so I'm probably going to nab that. And he, they've got another one, which is actually quite an odd one. Um, it's old, but it's rechargeable. So I might go for that one as well. The, the seller has said they combine shipping, so if I can get them for 99p each, sweet. But they end in four days, so I've got four days to wait. <laughs> Which is uh, not so sweet. <laughs> right, anyway. No doubt I have actually forgotten something, because I always do. Um, I do have a bunch of other stuff to list on eBay, but I'm going to wait till probably Sunday. That's the 1st of April, and uh, my um, 23 listings restart. Because you get 23 a month, then I get charged insertion fees, and I'd rather not. So, uh, anyway. Oh, excuse me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will uh, talk to you all again soon. Bye.